What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I am the only one here at the shop this morning, 4 a.m., ready to tackle the rest of this Silverado lift kit build, I would like to call it. And I'm so stoked because I left off at a pretty good spot so that hopefully today I can finish it all up and get this thing back on the road. So where I last left off, I just got done cutting the rotors. I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the brakes back on on both sides and then we're gonna go ahead and install the drop brackets for the sway bar and install the sway bar end links. I'm looking for a way inside your mind It's a haze of mysteries All I see is smoke and mirrors And the reflecting memories I need to figure out how things are twined The ropes are choking us if only So the next thing what we're gonna do is install the drop brackets for the sway bar. Um, this one's gonna be for the passenger side. Uh, how you can tell is that it has a slant. This is gonna be facing on the outside. And when you install it, it's actually gonna move that sway bar back towards the back of the vehicle. So we'll go ahead and install that now. But I cannot let you go. massive bolt should just connect to here. I don't really know how I feel about this, but that's what it says to do. Now I forgot to order another sway bar end link for this side, so I'm gonna have to use the OEM one. Next thing what we need to do is install the bracing, uh, the compression struts underneath this truck. Now before I go ahead and install that, I have a major leak in the transmission gasket pan, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace that first before I put all that bracing stuff underneath there. So let's go ahead and start that running. So as you can see, just from it just sitting here, it's just been leaking this whole time slowly. So it's a pretty major leak. I'm surprised 
I haven't had any transmission problems yet, but I mean, it's starting to get a puddle on the floor and everything. I got the new filter installed and then cleaned up the gasket material that was a little bit left on there. Now I gotta go clean the transmission pan. You can tell this has been way, 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 way overdue. This is just literally flaking off. So we're gonna clean this up and then uh, install the new transmission pan gasket. All right, the new pan is all nice and clean. Now it's time to install this back onto the transmission. We are back to the lift install. First, we're gonna put the rear cross member bar back on and then we're gonna actually install a bracket so that we can put these compression struts uh, bolted to this uh, drop bracket and that should tidy up the front end. start doing the rears so first thing we're going to want to do is move all of the brackets for the e-brake so these two uh, we're going to also unclip the ABS uh, sensors and lines so uh, disconnect if you have an OEM differential there's going to be a bracket here you're going to want to disconnect basically loosen up everything so that we can start the process of dropping this differential. I'm gonna start by removing the shocks, the lower shocks. Uh, I'll take off the clips for the ABS. Uh, I think on this side, we're gonna have to unloosen that bolt and then there might be one on this side and then uh, go from there. The shackles that hold the leaf springs on. Uh, this is an aftermarket, I think, nut. Normally it's a 21 millimeter, I think this is a 22.
on both sides. Then we're gonna lower the rear axle just a little bit so we can get some room to work with. I'm gonna be replacing the rear leaf springs on both sides, so I'm actually gonna remove both of them. And then, uh, I don't know if it's gonna be easier installing the Adelie while it's out or if it's in the truck, but I think I might try to knock it out while it's out of the vehicle uh, with the new leaf springs and then go from there. We're gonna need to remove this trim piece that's attached uh, to deflect debris from the gas tank. Uh, this will give us more clearance and room to get to the bolts for the rear leaf springs. Springs, I think it's probably gonna be best if I go ahead and install the add a leaf onto the new leaf springs so that everything's ready to go uh, once I remove the other one. So let's just go ahead and start this now. Um, from what I read, uh, we're gonna have to remove this center nut and basically disassemble this. There might be a dowel pin on the bottom of this lower leaf spring. We're gonna have to remove that dowel pin and then we're gonna attach the Adelie right, uh, right on the bottom of this leaf spring and then we'll attach the rest uh, how it is. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, this will be all new to me, so hopefully everything goes well. Leaf spring and a vise. We're gonna have to remove this dowel pin. I uh, just got a, a uh, unused bolt. I'm gonna see if I can try to drive it out with this. Now that we have this dowel pin removed, we can uh, take one of these plates aside. We're gonna add our leaf here. We'll put a top plate on top. New bolt. Get it through like that. So this is one we're gonna need. Some C clamps. Okay, so the Adelief is completely installed on both sides. We are nearing towards the end of this lift kit build. I didn't get everything that I wanted to get done, but this is a good stopping point for next time. So I will see you all in the next episode where hopefully this truck is gonna see some pavement. If you enjoy this type of content, you like this type of videos, please give me a like, comment if that's your thing, and of course, subscribe. I will see you all in the next episode. Adios.